Hey guys, welcome back to episode 2 of Twitchy Plays Kerbal Space Program Career Mode in 1.02 at the moment, I believe. Unless there was a patch that came out today that I didn't really notice. Uh, there's not really much to talk about out here at the moment, apart from, look, we've got a fancy new contracts window. Uh, as always, well, as will be happening for the next sort of... I don't know, I'm going to say 10 episodes. There have been more mods added as more mods have become available. Obviously, the update only happened less than a week ago now. Um, oh no, just over a week ago now. Uh, but yeah, we got a fancy contract window that tells me we have an altitude record to set and we need to escape the atmosphere. I would like to orbit Kerbin, but um, with the lack of heat shields, uh, if we go in here, yeah, heat shields are over here. And obviously, not having that orbit seems a little bit... A little bit um, dangerous to me. So I have pre-prepared, anyway, let's get rid of this. I have pre-prepared a mission. Uh, first off, get rid of Jeb. Good Lord, will you just get out of here. We're gonna, we're gonna have Valentina uh, in here and we're gonna use the uh, imaginatively named Cloud Slasher. Uh, as you can see, we uh, used all 30 parts of our 30 part part limit. Um, and I think one of the first things I'm gonna spend my money on is upgrading the VAB. Uh, I, I hate it, 30 parts, who is this? And 17.3 of the 18 part, uh, 18 ton, Fuel, uh, uh, mass limit there yeah, that's the word I was looking for uh, let's get in and have a look taking a quick look at the vessel you can see that the vast majority of my parts are taking up with that stack of liquid fuel tanks at the top there uh, which could have been maybe pared down a little bit but it's good enough and another thing that I could have done to improve is maybe limit those solid boosters on the bottom there that was far too much for us to in low in the atmosphere what are you doing there seriously Jeb I took you out of the you see what I'm saying? You, you, do you see what I'm saying? This is why I do not like Jebediah Kerman. Because no matter how careful you are, he is there to mess up your day. I ah, oh, actually annoyed about that. Actually annoyed about that. But anyway, we have just broken our speed record. This is one of the things we we're planning to do, and I do believe we've just run out of fuel. Uh, so what we're going to do first is do some science. Uh, we're in high atmosphere, so let's do some high atmosphere science. That's good, brilliant. Uh, 22 science, just what we need. And we're gonna do some over here as well. Uh, this is all just so we can get our uh, heat shield, obviously. Um, but one of the things I really wanna do, are we high enough to not get like blown off the, the ship? Yeah, I think we are, all right. Uh, oh no, I can't do EVA. We are gonna lose this science. We are gonna lose this science. I keep forgetting that you need to, uh, oh, world first altitude ach achievement. So there's, uh, there's space, yay. We did it. We, can you hear? Can you hear the the dulcet tones of uh, of an orbit there? That that's amazing. But this now means that we've got a long way to come back down. Look how slow our speed is falling. Let's uh, check out the map view. That's quite an altitude record. That is quite an altitude record. But there, of course, is our real next target. Of course, the first thing we need to master is orbit, just so we can like walk before we can run, right? I was going to decouple at this point. And, and let everything like crash into the thing but I actually want to kind of save this so I think what we're going to do is we're going to come down like this and try some hardware assisted braking see if we can actually get things going well and possibly with the extra uh, we can't see where my center of mass is but possibly with the extra mass on the bottom here we should be able to keep uh, straight down of course the fins are gonna play havoc with that I mean what, what can we do about that can we turn these off of course there is no way to actually uh, disable those fins but maybe they will burn themselves off as we out enter the atmosphere but as we get deeper down into the atmosphere it's obvious that no it wouldn't happen and of course now the only thing really to wonder is at what point am I gonna open my parachute oh oh no I did it all wrong I probably just pressed space instead of going open this oh well well we lost the science then that, that that's a shame that is, that is actually a real shame um in fact let's do a crew report do we have any science to get from that brilliant uh we had oh that's a little bit annoying actually that 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 is quite vexing quite vexing indeed but with no further mishaps in sight we're just going to let jeb uh muck around inside his capsule there until eventually we touch down and get back to the space center well, that was fun. Um, okay, so this gives us a perfect time for me to bring up Final Frontier, another mod that I've added to our collection. I really didn't want all these missions here going straight to Jeb. I, I, I kind of wanted it all going to Valentina to begin with. Brilliant. Um, and over here, we've got all the stuff, the standard stuff. Uh, more importantly, how much science did we get? Sorry, I didn't quite take that. Uh, we got 20 science from that, so that should be enough for us to come in here and go, hey... Let's grab this. Yeah, cool. It is brilliant. Yeah, no, that's definitely what we want. Okay, maybe, maybe now we can actually do some things that we said we were going to do. Uh, can we do this? We can do this. 
aerodynamic nose cone, small nose cone, more winglets and some radial decouplers, or the swivel engine, the thumper solid fuel and a, fuel, and a bigger fuel tank. Remember what I was saying about bag, bigger fuel tanks? Let's go with that. Boom, job done. All right, I'm gonna go uh, design another ship and I will be back uno momento. So I realised that I have been given absolutely no explanation as to what this final frontier is and it is basically just to give a little bit more flavour to like the Kerbals here. Obviously like these ribbons here tell, tell us what the Kerbals have done in the past which like we can kind of figure that out anyway or at least we can see how many missions they've gone on and like how much XP, XP they've got so we can see how far they've been and things like that but we don't find out things like you know uh, we've got these here Jebediah has earned research ribbon for getting 10 or more science points on a mission I mean that's pretty good I'm pretty sure Bob's gonna like far far outstrip all of that and I'm fairly sure by the end of it Bill Kerman is going to be our far out winner because Bill is the man obviously but yeah that's that's what the final frontier does uh, I also had a look back through the footage and realized what was going on with the you know when I took Jebediah out and put Valentina in if you then go and swap your craft, it then puts Jebediah back in the front. And uh, I, I'm not impressed with that at all. Squad, sort that out. Um, right, so let's go for a launch. All right, I've made a few changes here. We've put some solid boosters on the bottom and we put more fins around the bottom. It's not quite the bottom, the second bottom. Let's call it the second bottom, yep. Yeah. Uh, got science and stuff like that. Okay, I think, we're, I think we're ready to go. I just had a quick look on my staging as well and everything seems set up there. So let us... Yeah. Okay, we're going to go a little bit off deviation straight away and then just kind of hold it there. I would like to be able to do this via no SAS at all, but we, we'll see what works here. This is just kind of what I've been told is the way to do it, but especially if you've got fins, everything should, in theory, follow itself. But when, it's when I get little wobbles like this starting up that things are a little bit vexing i'm not sure what oh it's obviously to do with when the solid boosters burn out i've had noticed that in the part description there is a flame out under 10 percent which i don't know that, that sounds like it's it's something that could happen at a random point which means if they're not like all grouped together in, in symmetry they're going to burn out asymmetrically i think maybe okay so we're having a little trouble getting over far enough so i'm just gonna push it a little this way um i've been told that we need to be much shallower than this and this is one of the problems i've been having a lot since the uh, the one point something update uh, oh no 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 stop why would you do that there we go right there we go right back up there if you could just get up towards your your thing that'll be good I'm not, I'm not sure why this is going so bad, and uh, to be honest, this is never going to get us into orbit like this. Um, hopefully that's good enough though. There we go, maybe something like this. There we, go. we, we would have lost a lot of, lot of fuel there though. And I'm having real trouble. I'm not sure why I'm having so much trouble. Uh, let's turn this on. I know at the same time it's going to take me to take a screenshot, but... And let's try it again. What is going on here? Let's see. Let's put this on here. Uh, everything now looks lined up, but then we're quite high up in the atmosphere now. It would have been nice to have seen what was going on in that lower section there, but I don't... Oh, I, I don't know. I don't know what we're going to do about that. And also, I'm not sure what we're going to do about the fact that we're going to run out of fuel before we get into orbit. Um, yeah, no, that, that could be quite a problem. Let's have a look here at what our Apple Apsis is at. 78, yeah, no, this is going to be a serious problem. Um, mainly because we're just not we're just not going to make orbit, are we? We're just not going to make orbit. And that's because of that horrible little spin out there. But we're going to we're going to stick with it. We're going to stick with it. We're going to get Valentina some ribbons. We're going to we're going to see what happens. I And mainly we're going to get some science. I, I suppose is what we're we're really here for. I am a little bit a little bit annoyed that we're not going to make it up to, to orbit. That's kind of what I was planning to do here. Look, look at all these little markers here. I should probably turn those back off. I would like to disable one of these. Uh, maybe there's a key config change that I can make happen or something like that. But yeah, we'll, we'll just have to deal with what we can deal with. Okay, we're about to break the atmosphere. This is kind of what it's all about is breaking atmosphere, right? And we're going to see... Well, it's not all about breaking atmosphere. It's all about getting to orbit because we've already broken the atmosphere and it's quite quite disappointing that we keep having to do these same things over and over and over again just because well just because we haven't done it for properly okay let's hit full go no full go not a thing 
Oh yeah, there we go. It's, it, we can't hear our engines when we're out in map view anymore. That's um, that's interesting. That is very interesting. Okay, so here, here we go. We're, we're pushing ourselves out, but I've got a feeling we are going to run out of fuel very quickly. That's not my fuel panel. There's my fuel panel. In fact, we have run out of fuel very quickly. Well, here we are up in space. We still can't do any EVAs, but we can do this. And I've also put it so that this is coming down with us now this time. Uh, microgravity has, has greatly affected the growth of crystalline structures. Loose objects are also flying, flying around in the bay in a most very messy but fascinating way awesome uh we're also going to observe the mystery goo up here uh the goo seems to have clumped into sphere it also seems to have become brittle awesome and we're going to do a crew report uh it seems we're very much in space right now the sky seems to be mostly below us and indeed it is look at it down there but we are coming down hard and we're coming down fast let's uh go for the the full speedy version of it shall we uh and i think it's about here that i'm going to uh make my next staging brilliant and we're going to bring our heat shield to bear on the actual atmosphere and hopefully we're going to be fine doing this uh, i've heard all sorts of horrible things about how this flips out now and stuff like that but we're, we're just going to have to to deal with it and see what happens okay let's get down to like the interesting layers of the atmosphere if nothing else oh my god we're going into darkness why would that why would we do that maybe we should wait till uh, later on in the day which way is the planet spinning yeah maybe we should wait till later on in the day and then we can uh get a nice bright bright return system on the go okay here we go atmospheric drag is being applied it looks pretty hot pretty heavy whilst we're here i'm also going to take the opportunity to get some more goo canister data oh look we've already done that uh let's reset that and we'll do it when we hit the water might be a good idea i think it's probably going to be the best idea uh everything seems to be going well here though uh, we all know this heat shield is not going to give up from such a such a paltry flight here like uh, we we have tried our best to break this thing and it still won't go so like this sub auto flight is gonna gonna have nothing on it look we've taken off four of the ablator uh what, what what's that really i look look oh. What is that? Okay, I'm going to point myself uh, nose up now. now in, in fact, I'm just going to let the aerodynamics take me. Yeah, no, it seems to be doing all right. It seems to be doing all right. If it is a little dark, let's turn ourselves around this way so we can at least see what is going on. Oh, what's that dot over there? Is that Minmus? Should we go to the map view and have a look? I don't see. I can't see it. Can you see it? There. That. It is Minmus. Oh, well, look at that. Well, we've seen it straight away at least. At some point, we will be returning there. Uh, hopefully, within the next couple of episodes. Like, I, I really, I want to, I want to finish this episode on an orbit somehow. Um, I'm, I'm not sure what what we're going to do about that. Obviously, we're going to have to do something about the way we flip out all the time. Uh, I don't know. Right, so we're coming down at about two kilometers now. Oh, something blew up. Look, there it was. Okay, that that was good. And we're going to uh, pop out some parachutes. Wow, that's a lot of parachutes there. Maybe we don't need quite so many, but we'll we'll see what what speed we hit the floor at and mm, look at this got some new buttons up here but not that they do anything uh right we've got add out parachutes deployed we are slowing down a lot so let, let's speed this up shall we uh over there are the the mountains of the continent across the way it's part of the same continent really isn't it it's just there's a nice big bay there i know hmm, that's interesting that's interesting okay so Whilst watching Minmus, we are slowly drifting down to the to the surface. We've got a nice little glow on the horizon over there. We're going to crash in at something like four meters per second, which is, if you ask me, more than acceptable. This must be sunset happening, right? But surely sunset's happening over there. Anyway, let's recover this before it blows up. <laughs> we all know what things are like. Come on. We all know what vessels are like in water. It could quite easily spin around and smash stuff up. What have we got here? Operational service w mission. So we get uh, complete at least a single mission as a pilot. Well, you didn't really complete it, did you, Captain Valentina? Uh, 25 points or more of science. The splashdown ribbon. And 10% solid fuel. Is that is that another... Is that another 10% thing? Did we really have 10% of our mass as solid fuel? That, that, that's a bit weird. I thought we had less than that. Uh, this is annoying me now. How do we get these two separated? Gonna have to, gonna have to figure that out. Okay, so I will be back with another vessel, I suppose. How we? Hmm, yeah, no, I'll think about this.
All right, it's our last effort here. I'm going to push this over a little bit further to begin with this time because we do keep going far too shallow. Uh, so hopefully around about 10 degrees, something like that should be good. We're going to put the SAS on just to start the whole process and maybe even swing our sails around like this so that when we're... Ooh, wow, that was quick. So that when we're falling, we know which way we are going. Uh, so a few things have been changed. Well, I say a few things. One of the major things has been changed. I've put a gimbal in engine on the bottom here so that when I pull up, actually something happens. Um, because, well, that, that's kind of one of the things that I realised was kind of holding me back on the last flight. Every time that I was trying to uh, manoeuvre around, the only thing I had to rely on really was the SAS in here. And whilst that is all right, it's not really anything when it comes to like the drag and, and stuff like this that's going on. Okay, flight profile is looking a lot better. Maybe the thing that was going wrong was the tilt that I was doing at the beginning. As you can see, I'm a little bit little bit steep still. I hadn't quite hit 45 degrees at 10 kilometers, uh, which is kind of the milestone people are aiming for nowadays, or so I have been told. As of course, this early after the update, it's all about like trial and error and then sharing with all the people on, in the Kerbal community to try and actually nail down what is the perfect ascent profile and the Delta V necessary for such a flight. Oh, well, oh look at these beautifully glowing fins here i think i think we've got just at the right place at the right time yeah oh that, that's what i'm feeling anyway okay so we're just waiting for our our little vector here to come down and meet the horizon uh and then we're going to start thrusting for all we're worth obviously as per normal we're not going to wait until it completely touches the horizon we're going to wait until we're ooh, i don't know 30 maybe 40 seconds away from our apple apps and then we're going to fire our engines and hopefully keep our apple apps 30 or 40 seconds ahead of us oh look everything's managed to sort itself out now that we're up in orbit ah oh, that's brilliant this is one thing i'd noticed on other people's videos was the toolbar up here changes depending on like the situation you find yourself in so if you're up in orbit it shows this display hyper edit is still there though i don't i, I don't really want hyper edit on my bar in career mode but i definitely do want it in my sandbox um, if anybody knows any way of like differentiating the two other than copying my game files out because i'm not doing that i'm not, I'm not bothering just having a whole whole separate folder just for playing in sandbox or just for playing in career i've, I've come into the game and that's, that's, that's the save selection option right but yeah if anybody knows how to hide this during my career please do let me know all right we are coming up to uh, a pretty good height where are we here we're no it doesn't tell me how far away we are of course well, one of the first things we need to do up is obviously going to be the tracking center, mission control, uh, the VAB and the launch pad. The, these are also high on my list here. Um, yeah, I th think that's about it, really. So we're, we're coming up for a nice height. Let's get going. We're going to try just try and circularize here. Hopefully we're going to have a little bit of fuel left. Hopefully we're going to have a little bit of fuel left. In fact, we don't really want to be this far away from Apple Apps. We want to try and keep it as close as possible um, just so we keep the fuel. I mean, let's have a look here. Yeah, I mean, we are... We're pushing it, really. We're pushing it. Obviously, we haven't followed the uh, the optimal profile. Uh, then again, we kind of have. I don't know. Um, the, the thing is, the major problem is, I don't know how, many, how much Delta V it takes to get up here. I've given myself, like... Uh, 3,800, which according to people online is enough nowadays, but I don't know, it used to be 4,500, so I don't know, I don't know, maybe 4,000 is more what we're aiming for, especially with my uh, slightly erratic flight style. Uh, right, so we need to try and keep this relatively low, but at the same time, uh, there, like, I, re I really don't want to burn through all my fuel. Is that a contract done? That is a contract done. We're, we are good. We're above the, the atmosphere. Right, let's have a look. Orbit Kerbin! Yeah! Get in there. That was really difficult. That was really, really difficult. But there we go. We've got that one done. We're escaping the atmosphere. We've done that. We, we did these in, in the beginning of the episode. Psh, why haven't those gone yet? So my next plan was to do some science, but unfortunately we had actually done all the different sciences that we could possibly do up in space on our first flight that broke the atmosphere, so that was a little bit vexing. And then, whilst coming to the map view, I managed to lose myself during the focus, so we had to go through all the planets to try and come back, just so that at the end of it we could... If we come back we should see an, a beautiful sunrise, first sunrise from orbit, go Valentina! Boom! That is beautiful, beautiful. Uh, Perhaps did it a bit quick for it to be like too beautiful. But we are on the other side of the planet, still too far away. Um, I've still never really explored this crater here. I've not come out with a ship to have a look and see what's going on, which is a, a little bit of a shame. Right, somewhere about here we want to be bringing our orbit down. A little bit 
a little bit vexing about the way we're pointing and stuff like that, but you know, that, that's the way it's going to have to be. We're going to have to do some serious, like, atmospheric deceleration because our, our uh, fuel reserves here are low. Yeah, like low, low, low. Okay, so let's turn this off so we can just point in the right direction. Just like this. Yeah, like that. Okay, well, hopefully that's going to push that down below sort of 30, 40 kilometers. Let's go. 20 is good. It's good. That means we're coming home. That means we're coming home. It's not going to be until a long way round, I think, but we are coming home. Okay, should we um, just time warp our way through the drop into the atmosphere? Just like that. Yeah, that's that's exactly it. <laughs> I was kind of hoping for a little bit more distance round, so let's let's speed up time and see what goes on. Perhaps we should dump the thing with the fins uh, that might just be going in the wrong direction. Let's try. Wow! Look at that go. Uh, I know that's mainly due to the fact that we're, like we're at massively accelerated time, but that is going to stop before us a long way before us. We should have pointed ourselves down, shouldn't we? That would have been that would have made more sense. Oh well, well, here we are, going through the atmosphere. Uh, completely pointed in the wrong direction, though I feel like, look, you can see it kind of rocking around in the right direction. Now, this is kind of half the reason that I've got the materials bay here. Um, it's just to provide the weight at the bottom. Uh, I was hearing a lot that there are glitches with the way that the, uh, because the heat shield is massless or something like that, the, the cabin doesn't really... Uh, orientate itself in the right direction you record the cruise assessment brilliant okay so here we go we're coming down not really hard oh well well we've set it spinning now didn't mean to do that uh should we um maybe turn the time acceleration off at the same time we, oh there's another vehicle uh, not another vehicle another planet there is that minmus again it's probably minmus again look at look how look how tiny it is but it's not that tiny so it's probably close by okay well so not really getting the deceleration that I was kind of hoping for here, though we are definitely decelerating. I mean, look at look at that periapsis come crashing down. Uh, I don't think we're going to make a nice uh, landfall. Oh, I don't think we're going to make a nice landfall. Can we drop parachutes? Is that going to do anything? That's not going to do anything. Uh, that's a bit rubbish. And now all we're going to have to do is wait that we, when we get down to actually an area where it will be useful. Uh, perhaps we could turn the minimum pressure on this, like, right up. Will, will that do it? Are you going to... You're going to pop there? I mean, it's like 0.5 here or something. I don't know. We'll find out. Um, but this will definitely pop out before these now. Um, just, to, just to give us some slowing down. But now we are well and truly beyond uh, the, the, the pull of the, pla uh, the sun. Well, the illumination of the sun. And we're just going to have to kind of watch this come down as it is. Which is um, not great, actually, to be honest. I was kind of hoping we could have something a little bit little bit visible but you know i did it at the wrong time uh the ablator is not really going to come down at all we're just coming from orbit look at that orbit curbing got it we need a, a speed record oh no what what about our... oh no oh no 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 did you guys read that that i read that our parachutes have been disabled well not disabled our parachutes have been destroyed by the by the heat that's um a little bit rubbish also why haven't there we go. Why hasn't this popped out? We're going to have to give this maximum time possible to deploy. Um, and just hope that things don't smash into the floor too hard. I mean, if, if we're going to lose anything, it's going to be in the materials bay. Which is annoying because, like, if we review the data here, that's the maximum amount of science we got. Um, let's keep hold of it, though. Could transmit it to kind of, like, hedge our bets, if you will. But... At the same time, I don't think I put a communicatron on here. I had I had a whole part spare. I could I could rail have done it. Um, all right, so we're coming down. Last 50 meters, as always, a little bit of a, a struggle. Uh, we're down to six or seven meters per second. We, we this should be all right. Hopefully, maybe the heat shield will get shield will get lost. But yeah, yeah, look, look, there we go. Recover the vessel. Recover the vessel. All right. Well, look at these ribbons here. We've got the first orbit, and we've got. Research Ribbon 4, 75 points or more. That's brilliant. All right. And with that, I'm going to say thank you very much for joining me for this orbital adventure, guys. It may have run a little bit long, but I'll try and edit it down to make it at least, I don't know, less than 20 minutes anyway. Uh, and I will see you next time where we're either going to be, like, well ex extending ourselves and pushing for the moon, or I have noticed that in here we've got some tourism stuff to do. And, and that would be nice, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah, Gene agrees. Let's do some science. Let's do some tourism next time. And I will see you then when we're going to do that. Bye!